guys welcome back to my channel sorry I've been gone for some time I was traveling last week and when I got back into town I was really busy catching up on work and sleep and my sanity you know after a vacation when you come back it's like you have vacation brain it's like I was having a hard time like getting back into the swing of work I'm still kind of dragging but in this poopy weather outside we're having in San Francisco today does not help um, my hair is pinned straight right now after this video I am going to push up my extension video and then get that posted for you so I'm not really doing a whole heck of a lot with this. So this video today that I really wanted to do is on these Cover FX custom coverage drops. First of all, I'm a big fan of getting samples at Sephora because they allow you. I really don't like buying multiple products and trying what I like and then returning what doesn't work because they can't resell that and to me that's just like because you couldn't make up your mind it's like get a sample they offer them and then you can decide what you like so anyway so I got them in shade N10 and N20 which is neutral they have them in a wide variety of shades um, N is for neutral G is for golden with yellow undertones and P is for pink with obviously pink undertones. There are a variety of 24 shades to choose from, which in foundations that's like huge because you can also mix them together to get your perfect color. I am gonna be working from home for the rest of the day, so I just came home from a work meeting and I um, changed into some more comfortable clothes and I took off the existing makeup I had so I could show you um, the demonstration of these and then I'll try to keep it on until I go to bed so I can do a few check-ins because it already is two o'clock in the afternoon now. So just to show you how how it wears because I had a lot of questions about it so since I am light I was questioning maybe I'd be the neutral 10 but this is like really for like porcelain to light girls and neutral neutral undertones and I wear a MAC NW20 or MAC face and body and N2 and the N20 is a perfect match I was really curious to try these cover effects drops because I got these um, bare minerals bare skin drops and I hate to say it but I hated these I hated them. They went on and looked so nice on my normal to dry skin, but it would start breaking up and kind of like oxidizing in spots and you'd have to go back over with a brush to kind of blend it in, but it just started looking like crap. Like it would look great on for a little bit, maybe like an hour tops, and then this would look horrible. And I tried it with a brush. I tried it with a beauty blender. I tried it with no primer, with primer. Just nothing seemed to make this work for me. and. I read really mixed reviews. I do find, unfortunately, that sometimes reviews on websites, we won't name certain companies, but they're filtered and that happens on a lot of websites because when a company sponsors, you know, maybe they want front page ad placement or something like that, they'll say that they want to be a featured product and by doing that, they want good reviews. So they'll kind of filter out the negative ones and maybe let one or two go in there so it doesn't seem like it's fake. But like I left a really negative review for these and if you look on my Sephora page I have like thousands of glowing recommendations and reviews and this was one that I did not give a good review to and it didn't post. And then I emailed and I asked why, like why didn't my review go up? And they said oh maybe you mentioned a different brand, we don't allow that in reviews. I'm like really? Because all of my other reviews mention other products typically when I'm comparing them to something. I said just because this one was negative it wasn't allowed to go up so that made me a little skeptical. Anyway, if this works for you, I'm so happy. Um, I got another shade of this too to try, like I couldn't go back for enough punishment and I just did not like this. So, I liked the concept of it. I liked the idea of like a really dewy, natural finish, like dewy to natural finish that was like really lightweight and that's what I wanted. What these are is this is pure pigment. So like this, when you mix it with other thing, or when you have to shake it like that, you hear that little dropper? It's mixing with other ingredients. So it's not just pure pigment. So maybe that's what causes it to break up on my face. This is pure pigment. And what this is, you can mix this with anything that you want, with a primer, with a lotion. Um, you know with existing foundation if you want a little more coverage than that offers so I've tried my sample I tried mixing it two ways um, one time I mixed it with my Becca shimmering skin perfector and pearl and I put it on and it was awesome because I do like a little more luminous finish so I wanted like the luminosity of that skin perfector 
And then I also tried it. I had got this sample from Cover FX, their illuminating primer, and I had squeezed this out and mixed that in as well, and it worked really well as well. Um, what I'm thinking is going to be my favorite use of this is mixed with my MAC face and body because I really love the finish of that, and I already do get a decent amount of coverage but I'm thinking that to like for days maybe I need a little more that this would be awesome. So my skin is super super dry right now in spots. Um, I mean my cheeks are kind of okay but around my nose and my chin is really peeling. Those really long flights really dry out my skin and I believe we were in air for like five, five hours maybe a little longer flying out to Hawaii. So my skin is just like really angry in the past few weekends before that I was in New York one weekend I was in Chicago another so I've just been flying a lot and my skin is like really angry and normally I use moisture masks or something on the plane but I was slacking and last minute packing and I didn't so I'm feeling the pain so I went down to Sephora on Union Street here in San Francisco and Nicole a sales rep recommended this ultra repair face moisturizer for me by first aid beauty um, and so I just put some of this on my face and it did feel really good but like my skin totally drank it up I thought it was going to feel like maybe a little greasy because it's so thick but it literally like really thirsty so I do have that down on my skin right now so what I'm gonna mix these drops with today is this Becca shimmering skin perfecter in pearl and what you want to do is put as much as you would for a foundation so if you would normally only use like a pump like that of your foundation then that's what you use now these contain a technology called flash fusion technology which means the instant you add this to something and you mix it it's going to take on it's the color is going to take over so like you're not gonna have to mix and mix and mix while it's super streaky so the recommended mixing ratio for this if you want sheer coverage is one drop if you want medium coverage it's two drops if you want full coverage, it's three drops. If you want total coverage, it's four drops. So I normally like a light to sheer coverage. So I'm just gonna put two drops in. So pick up the dropper, and if you can see right here, I'm going to put one, two. Very small little drops like that. Looks like right now, you can see in there. I'm just gonna take a foundation brush. This is a Real Techniques one, and everything I talk about, guys, is as always is linked below and what I'm gonna do is just mix this on the back of my hand and once you do that it pretty much becomes like a foundation so here it is all mixed and again I'm light I'm just gonna paint this on and then I'm gonna go through and blend this so again I'm not going for blending right now I'm just kind of painting this on I'm opposed to more like liquidy foundations and things I like to paint it on with a brush just so I make sure that I kind of get even coverage because sponges can kind of absorb more than put down if you wanted to go through with a beauty blender you can and technically since I've been having really dry skin I probably should but I'm going to go through with my real techniques this is my expert face brush and just blend this in lips, lips I kiss. Bite me while I taste your fingertips one thing I will say is that while I was using the tester of this, um, you know, I just kind of dipped my brush in and put the drops on. So I didn't notice um, this kind of smeared on the bottle. The bottle is kind of messy, but I mean, maybe if you can get it done properly, you won't have those issues. Um, it is important to mix it. I didn't say that on there, but I had already mixed it. If you guys can tell, this did an excellent job of neutralizing all the red on my face and covering, and that was just with two drops. So if you use more, I'm assuming it will be brighter. Right now, I do kind of look ghostly um, just because I have no color on my face other than this I just put in, and I do have a light reflecting primer on my face, so... Um, Right now, the light is kind of bouncing back and making me look a little whiter than I normally am. So, since this is just about the wear of the foundation, I'm not gonna get too fancy. Um, I'm going to just put a little of my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer underneath my eyes to color correct that dark circles from not sleeping. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that same brush just to lightly blend that out. You know. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Prep Empyrium in Radiant Rose and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin and blend it out with that same brush. Since I'm working the rest of the day from home, I'm just going to do a very, for me, natural light contour. 
So I'm going to take my MAC 168 angled contour brush and I'm going to take my Inglot 504 contour shade and I'm going to go into the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go through with the Inglot 505 shade to add a little dimension to the back of that contour. I'm gonna set my under eyes with MAC Emphasize Powder. Then I'm gonna take the new Hourglass Bronzing Powder and Luminous Bronze Light on my Makeup Addiction Brush, the Chiseler, and I'm going to add some warmth to my face up high on my cheekbones and around the border of my face. Now I'm going to take my Hourglass Dim Infusion Blush that's Coral Shade with my MAC 129 Short Handle and I'm going to put blush on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to take my favorite drugstore highlighter in Translucent Pearl by Physicians Formula on my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlight and highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Okay guys, so I have my eyelashes on. I didn't do any eye makeup um, just because I don't feel like doing any. And my nose is really red right now. Um, we went scuba diving and my nose is like such a little pig nose turned up. Not in a bad way, I like my nose. But um, the, the mask was like really pushing on the bridge of my nose and you had to like try to squeeze your nose and you started going down. And so my nose is just like really irritated from that. So let's not pay attention. I normally put a little powder on my nose, but since I want this to be a true test of how this lasts, I'm not gonna powder it. I'm just gonna put a little lip gloss on. Creme Brulee by NYX, their butter glosses. This is my favorite drugstore lip, lip gloss. Okay guys, so it is 2.33. I'm going to film the rest of my extension video and I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours. Okay guys, so it is 5.05. .05. It is roughly um, two and a half hours after application. Um, I did retouch my lip gloss because I shoved like a six inch Subway sub in my mouth and uh, like cone head style <laughs> and my lip gloss kind of went everywhere so I did retouch that. Um, as you can see my nose is pretty red. Um, I told you about that from like the mask being on there and I didn't put any powder. Um, I will zoom in in a minute so you can see how this is wearing up close. Um, I have not touched up my makeup at all besides my lip gloss. Um, real quickly I'll tell you the, the points issues that I see is um, on my cheek right here, nothing has changed. Right here in my smile lines, I mean, they're not like bad lines, but it has settled just a little bit into these right here. And I don't think it's really deep, but I mean, it, I'm looking in a magnifying mirror. So um, right here, I can see it's kind of settled a little bit. I think it looks phenomenal considering it is literally only two very small drops inside a light reflect a light reflect inside a light reflecting primer. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the wear on this. Okay, so if you guys can see, right kind of here, it settled a little. My nose is looking a little shiny. Right here on my forehead, you can kind of see, I'm gonna see some lines. Uh, I'm not gonna take this brush and do it because I wanna see the wear of this. If I wanted to take this brush, I could just simply go over those few little cracks. And again, I didn't set this with any kind of powder. And if I did, I know that this nose situation wouldn't be happening. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with the wear of this because again, I can mix this in with every, anything. If I wanted to just mix this in with my regular moisturizer, I could. And basically you're making your own tinted moisturizer except the coverage of this is amazing. Um, again, I did two small little like doop doop, not like dropper fulls, drops. And that light reflecting primer and I put it on and I mean, you saw it like blanked out all of the redness on my face. So I'm gonna check back in in a few more hours, guys. I have some more work to catch up on, so I'm gonna return some emails and do some things, and I will be back in a few hours. Okay, guys, so it is 7.35. It is roughly five hours after application. Um, let's see. So as you can see, I am a little shiny around my nose, a little on my chin, and a little on my forehead which again, I did mix it with um, a luminous primer and that's really all I have. M right in the cracks of my nose where my skin is dry, it is not looking good. Again, I'll zoom in so you can see. Um, this may not have been the best day to have a fair comparison because normally my skin is not this dry, but I figure you know, our skin isn't always in its best condition all the time, so why not? Cracks on my nose, it doesn't look great. Those two little lines on my forehead as time is going on is looking 
a little more um, noticeable. Um, when I did go over my eyelids with it, I do have hooded eyes and I didn't really set the top of them with powder, so those are creasing. They kind of look a little shiny. Um, again, this will all depend on what you mix these with. So I just used basically like a white shimmery lotion and I put this in. You can use this with anything. So you can really customize this for skin types. So for a makeup artist, this is amazing for your kit because you can add this in with a mattifying primer for someone with oily skin. With someone with really dry skin, you can add this in to a really moisturizing lotion. At first I thought, why would you need um, you know why would you want two products why would you want to have to use like a moisturizer or something like a mixing medium and then these and the reason for that is because what works on my skin may not be the same that works on your skin you know maybe I love this moisturizer and maybe your skin has a bad reaction to it so you can find a product that you love that's tried and true to you and just add some color into it so it works perfectly with you so you know sometimes I really love a foundation's finish but I don't like the way it breaks up or, or I'll really like a foundation's coverage but I won't like the finish so these are allowing you to customize anything you want you can also get these in like a darker shade if you want and mix them in with the, your favorite foundation for the summer if you do fake tan or regular tan which I don't recommend regular tanning because the sun is very dangerous and I stay this color year round. I mean I got back from Hawaii and I'm pretty much whiter than when I left. I don't mess with the sun. I don't mess with sanners just because it's just way too much work for me. I don't like my head to be a different color than my body and right now with the light reflecting primer my face does look a little lighter than my neck. My body did get a little sun right here. Um, Again, that day we went scuba diving, they tell you not to put on sunscreen um, because it'll make your mask and stuff slide around your face and you're pretty much underwater most of the time anyway. But I had like a freaking panic attack and I couldn't breathe in and out of my mouth very well when we started going down and so I went back up on top of the boat and I didn't have my hat on um, and I unzipped the wetsuit so I got a little color on my chest unfortunately so that will fade I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys the wear okay now that we're closer and you can see like the more shininess and if you can see on the side of my nose here it just kind of looks cakey and not great and my chin right here is a little shiny um, I can tell you this if you have very mature skin this is not gonna be the product for you because it can settle into some lines I'm going to try to do one more check-in um, in like three more hours so I can give it a total of eight hour wear to show you um, what it looks like. So I will check back in in about three more hours um, before I go to bed. Okay guys, so it is 10.30. It is eight hours after application and this looks like crap. <laughs> um, I think it is because it was a light infusing primer that I used. Um, it's just super shiny. And one other thing I did check is I just read the reviews for this Ultimate Repair Face Lotion by uh, First Aid Beauty. And some people were commenting on there that they really loved it. And then other people said that it made them really greasy and oily a few hours after makeup application. Which is weird because I normally don't have that problem because I am dry. But right now on my cheeks is really shimmery from that lotion. And it's really does not look good at all. We'll zoom in to show you. Okay, if you guys can see here, it's like, woo, not looking great. Um, on my forehead in between right here has gotten lines. My nose is like a mess. Um, my chin right here, it's like all wore off and yeah, it's just not looking good. So real quick, I'm gonna see if using, like going back over with the brush, cause this is my last check-in, if that would like touch it up and make it better. So let's see. And there's nothing on this brush. I'm just going over and trying to blend in what's already there. Okay. That actually made the breaking up on my chin and in between my eyebrows better, but I still have some of that breaking up on my chin. Or I meant some of the breaking up on my nose. Real quick, my views on this. I still really do like these. Very rarely do I ever have my makeup on for eight hours without touching it up. Like when I blend that in, that that looks good, like better for especially if you take into account I've had this on for eight hours with no primer. 
Um, I mixed it in with a light infusing primer, which it was just a primer. It's not a foundation or anything else. Um, I'm going to continue to fuss around with these to mix them in with different products to see how I like them. Um, again, I'm going to try to mix them in with just a moisturizer. And literally, I just picked this up today and as well as this full size one from the sample I got. And I did put this on right after I took off my makeup today because my skin was really tight and like hard so that could be causing this oiliness around this area because again I don't ever get oily so my final thoughts on this product is I really do enjoy these I will be using them and testing them with different products um you know I can say that if it's going to be like a quick wear that I would use it with the Becca shimmering skin perfector if it was just a few hours if it was going to be like long term um, I did use this cover effects illuminating primer with it and um, I'm sorry I'm scratching my nose. My skin is so dry that it's like really itchy. Um, I mixed these two together and I did get a long wear out of them. So I think it's just going to be trial and error to see what consistency works the best. And if you have something that's working on your skin that you really love, I would do that. Um, one thing that's important to note about this is I will tell you that this product is supposed to take on whatever finish that you're adding into it, but it does slightly dull it. Um, whereas my primer is super luminous um, on its own when you rub it in the skin. After you mix this in with it, it does dull it a little. So people that don't like a really dewy finish would love this. And I mean, I still do have dew as you can see, but it's not as dewy as like my MAC face and body when I put that directly on. The coverage in this is amazing. The price is a little steep. It's $44 for 0.5 ounces but again when you saw how much I used just like two little drops this bottle will last you a long time and it is messy so you do have to be careful with it make sure you shake it I would recommend if you're on the fence about it to go and ask for a sample of whatever color you think you are um, and maybe get like two colors so you can bring it home and really test it out and just put a few drops in your moisturizer and things and that way you'll know if you like it. I hope this review was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.